Hi everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. I wanted to play with some napkins and music pages today. So we are going to deck potch and make some pretties. Make some pretties. Yes, we are. So I've got this book here I'm going to pull from as well as this page. And I'm going to use some napkins that I've been gifted by some of you lovely, lovely ladies. And I just picked a few at random. And I am going to use them in the quarters probably because of the fact that <clears throat> they are quartered like that. Plus, I just kind of like, I don't know, maybe I'll do a big page for like a, um, what do you call it, like an envelope. Let's see. If I do, say I use this for an envelope, decoupaging is like a really common practice of ours as junk journalers and it's not something I have done a lot of. So when I go to do it, I'm kind of like, okay, now I gotta remember all the little nuances of it. And I'm looking here really quick because say I decided I wanted to make this into an envelope. like. See how it is? Um, okay, so like it's like this, right? And then if I were to fold it, yeah, I would, yeah, see, it would, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I know the little trick with the tape, pulling it apart, but this is actually has a opening right here for me. So I'm just gonna use that. Oh, these are triple layer. I'm gonna get some scissors first and cut these because I want it, like I said, I'm gonna do these in quarters and I'll probably use them as flip, you know, flips in my journal or journaling cards or tags or probably journaling cards of some sort. Um, or maybe I'll use them on covers. I don't know yet. But this is also, I like to use them in the quarters because I'm not going to make the same thing over and over and over again, probably. And uh, this gives me an opportunity to do different designs. Okay. Like I said, this is, there we go, I was going to say. And I've got my, I've got my brush over here and I'm just looking because I can probably fit two onto this page. So, so, so. Yeah, I'm, I, I always feel a little bit, I don't want to say incompetent, but, but a little bit um, in the not so experienced um, area when I do the decoupaging, just because I haven't done a ton of it. I'm, I mean, I, I do it, but I don't, you know? And so a lot of things I do them and then I don't do them again for quite some time, you know? And then I feel like, oh, I don't know how to do that anymore. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so, I know it might sound silly, but I know I should just get the tape, but I, I'm just trying here because I can see it's open. And this is another one that's got, like, the triple layer here. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm being silly by doing it like this. But I can just see it's open right there, and I'm like, well, I don't want to pull out tape. And knowing me, I might rip it with the tape, and you know, who knows? Well, that one's cool. It, the print is on the inside layer. Look at that. You can kind of see it. Can you guys see it? That's kind of cool. So, we're going to do a couple of bird prints first. I don't know, I just kind of, I don't know where I'm going to use these or if I'm going to use them right away or if, 
I'm going to uh, wait and use them down the road. But for right now, I just thought it would be nice to have some ready and um, <clears throat> done. And And again, I'm using satin on my, uh, what do you call it? Now, how does Tina do that? She's, oh, she's got the acetate, huh? See, I don't have, I have some somewhere. Somebody gave me, I think it was Vanessa. I think you gave it to me, honey. Um, but I, I put it away like a good girl, and now I don't know where I put it. Anybody else, you know, I've asked you guys that before. Anybody else doesn't do that? Put it away where it's supposed to be, and then you forget where it's supposed to be. Yeah. I think that would, by a non-crafter, be the definition of when you have too much stuff. But they don't know, because they don't understand us. They actually think we're hoarders. We're not hoarders. We're collectors. We're just preparing for the project down the road, right guys? Yeah, I think that's true, personally. Ah, see, but that is why Miss Tina uses acetate so she doesn't flub up her napkin. Okay, I saved it, it's okay. It'll be fine. You can barely even see right there there's a little tear but it'll dry it'll dry okay I'm gonna turn this around I if you hear a beeping in the background I was defrosting steak and it is defrosted <laughs> or it's telling me that it's the timer's going off and I don't want to pause to go do that so I will in a sec but once I get this down I guess I'll go do that okay And I'm going to do this one upside down because my paper is technically upside down because I turned it around. Oh, that's going to be cute. These will be two pretty little backgrounds, won't they? I have to go very lightly. I don't want to tear this one too. And as usual, I'm using my satin. I do have matte. Um, Mod Podge, but I just love the satin. I don't know why, but I just really do. I think it's pretty. I haven't tried the gloss. I don't, in my head, I'm thinking I wouldn't, not not that I wouldn't like it, but it's not what I prefer. Um, so I just haven't bothered to even try it. I might love it, you know, but I haven't tried it. Okay, so there's our first page. Very simple, simplistic. I'm not doing anything most of you don't know how to do, but if you've never decoupaged, then this is one way to do it. I'm going to pause just for a second and go shut that microwave off. I'll be right back. Okay, kids, I'm back. So I don't know if you watched yesterday's video, but if you did, you saw me, um, Okay, if you hear me smacking, it's because I have a gnat who is trying to drive me crazy. And he keeps flying in my face. <laughs> so anyway, if you hear me, that's why. Um, anyway, I was going to say, if you didn't see yesterday's video, we did some jelly prints, um, jelly plate prints, and I was just playing because I just noticed something. This one looks different. Oh man, I did not see that. This one's the whole thing. I could do this on a whole and I cut it. Shoot. Yeah, this one's more like, well, I guess, I, I guess it is like half and half. Okay. But still, it's more of a whole picture than the other one, the other ones are. So instead of of, um, is it a triple as well? Yes. Let me see. 
what I might be able to manage. Um, grab a bigger piece of paper. I wonder what this would... I'm just curious. I have this um, watercolor, my butterfly watercolor garden thing kit over here. I'm just curious. I wonder what it would look like on top of that with Mod Podge. Probably stupid, huh? Yeah, because it's a picture. So, I'm not going to do that. But, um, anyway, what I was saying is that I was doing those yesterday and then I was tempted today to do a video um, decorating them because they came out. I went ahead and cut them down like I usually do. I didn't save any um, to do as like whole backgrounds or anything. Um, they just came out really, really good, you guys. I like them a lot after they were all cut down. And uh, here, I'll show them to you real quick. Just because if you were with me yesterday, you, you remember doing them. So I may do a video just decorating some of these because here's the green with that, like the lighter green and the dark green together and the black. And they just came out really nice as cards. And here is that one that was a piece of scrapbook paper, the 12 by 12, which I think we should do a video just getting rid of some of our scrapbook paper and doing some jelly prints or even just, you know, painting on the paper and creating our own with stencils or whatever. This one is so cool. I, I liked it as a whole piece and now I just absolutely love it. So yeah, I was super stoked about these. They came out awesome. I think they did. Even the one I didn't really care for, I now don't dislike. This one. I didn't really like it. Remember the Paris one with the pink? Um, I actually <laughs> think it looks pretty cool cut down. Uh, once it's glued to a board and it's, you know, and a cardstock and it's, um, distressed and stuff like that with some black around the edges or something or even some brighter pink I don't know probably black but you've got like pieces of the Eiffel Tower and it just looks cool <laughs> and then this one was the other one I wasn't so sure about and it look, looks fine as a background you know yeah this one I love is so fun it's different but it's fun and then there was my probably my favorite one of my favorites is this one. Okay, and then there's the one with the sunflowers. Isn't that nice? Almost looks like an echo print, you know? Is it e eco? Eco print. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. Anyway, there's the other one I liked that was very dark and grungy looking with the copper. Yeah. And then that was the one I did before I got on video with you guys, but I thought it came out very cool. So yeah, that was, that was fun. I enjoyed these a lot. So I am definitely going to decorate them and get them prepped for use. Okay. Now, um, I was thinking that I could probably just do this as a whole or almost a whole picture and then just trim it off <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush ready again This one will look cool. I have no idea what I'll use it with yet. I may end up making an envelope with this one. Um, maybe adding some vellum to it or something and creating a pocket on the outside. That sounds like fun. I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know. I have such a big list of things that I want to try or want to do with you guys and then I just it's horrible. I haven't either. I've not been in the mood 
to make the mess that it'll take to create it, you know? Do you ever feel like that? Like you, you want to do certain projects and then you don't do them because you're like, oh, it's going to create a huge mess and I'm just not in a space, headspace for that right now. That's kind of been where I'm at and I apologize because I've got a whole, I've got like pages um, of different little things that I want to try. So just pray for me. I, I Yeah, just pray for me. Because I'm kind of fighting my own headspace. Praise God. The Lord has been very faithful and patient with me, <laughs> as he always is. But I have to... I think it's mostly, like I've told you guys before, there's just days when I don't really feel that great. And when I don't feel that great, uh... I have a harder time concentrating. I think everybody does. And I'm not, I'm really not trying to complain. I'm just trying to be honest with my friends. For those of you who don't know me, I, I really do count all of you as a part of my family now. And I talk very openly and honestly with you guys about my faith, about my life, my children, my husband. My past, I share my testimony a lot. If you're new to the channel and you stick around at all and hang out with me, you'll get to know me pretty good. So when I'm talking about this stuff, I'm, I'm talking to my girls who know me really well and will lift me up in prayer because, you know, I, they know I'm, I'm, I hope you guys know I'm not complaining because I just want to feel better. And for some odd reason, I just go through these spells you know where I'm at and I've been in one for a while now my doctor my tests are fine everything's fine but I just don't I just don't feel quite like myself all the time and yeah so it's kind of hindering me on what I do with my crafting and I don't like that look at that isn't that pretty see that's why I like it's almost dry that's why I like the satin because it just it's not glossy, but it gives it a nice sheen, and I think matte probably does too, to an extent, but actually, I really like, I better put these over here, because these are my little leftovers, and I don't want to get them mixed up and think that they're like something I can rub my finger on. These are my pieces I, I'm saving, because I've only got like one of each of these napkins, you know, so I don't want to... <clears throat> use use them up. I want to use them sparingly is what I want to say. So I've got, gosh, I've already done three. Okay, I've got this adorable peacock. This one was from Miss Valerie. Isn't it cute? Now, I'm thinking I could put, I really want the whole thing. That, that piece is just not going to cut it. Let's see. Let me see if I have a wider oh I do have this dictionary page that I always use my good old Webster's dictionary that should hang with it on width let's see yeah that's good so I'm only gonna use half of this little guy Yeah, so anyway, all I'm saying is because I haven't been feeling too hot that I just have a tendency not to be doing as much on my crafting, and I feel like I'm, I feel like I might be boring you guys. I sure hope not, because I'm not doing a bunch of exciting things off my list, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that a, another piece, or is that it? It almost looks too thick, but I think it's just because it's a like a really because I don't see where it's a second piece I'm pretty sure that's it let me I'm gonna pull out some tape just to just to be sure oh there is another piece there all right we got it we got it girls there we go. Oopsie. Oh, no, 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 no. There was the slightest little, it looked like almost like a slice right there in that napkin. I didn't see it until after I opened it. It's okay. 
we will just be very gentle with it, right? This is one of my husband's shop towels from his work. He he brought it home because they throw them away. He said they, they act like they're paper towels practically. And they just toss them out. And I said, well, bring me one. You know, bring me some. And so he, he had that one the other day. He's like, oh, I brought it to you because I was going to throw it away. And I thought, oh, maybe you'll use it. Of course I'll use it. Here we go. Now, lay this out just right so that we get that little line laid down so you can't really see. There's a separation there. And again, this is where Miss Tina would use her acetate right here so she wouldn't have to touch the napkin so much, you know. I actually have acetate in my um, cart on Amazon. <laughs> I just haven't purchased it. It's been sitting in my cart for probably a week or two now. So, And I hope you guys are taking advantage of the link I've been putting in the videos. I've started putting it down below the little blurb that I say at the end of the description of the video. Um, and it's a link to my list of um, supplies okay and I'm at I add to it as I'm going but it's got all of my general things that I've used with you guys and then it's got some things on there that I really want and haven't gotten yet that I thought you might be interested in knowing about and so instead of just keeping them in my wish list I stuck them over there as well okay so there's the peacock on the dictionary page. How's this guy doing? Ooh, he's drying up nice and looking pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay, now we got one last napkin with us. And look at this beauty. And <clears throat> I am thinking because of the design, I can actually do this on a whole sheet. And it will not matter. Yay. So I won't be cutting this one down. I think I got two of these. This one came from Miss Valerie. She gave these to me last week when I went over there. She gave me a bag with some, a bunch of napkins in it. And this is one, I think this one has three white. Yeah, this is a nice thick napkin. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a third white sheet of tissue there. So I'm going to pull one more. Yep, I was right. So that one was really thick. That was a triple ply, or quadruple ply. I mean. Okay, don't tear. All right. Now, we are going to put this. Oh, there goes the the door slamming startled me startle startle I really like it on top of this music paper um, I'm gonna have to make a trip to my bookstore and go through her music books again soon because I actually think I'm running low believe it or not oh that's gonna be so pretty okay so, here we go. I have a song in my head. Um, it's the, the um, intro song for Death in Paradise, that mystery, you know, the, the mystery cop show that's on BBC. Um, it keeps going through my head. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. <laughs> I keep wanting to sing it. It's a silly little ditty. There's no words or anything. It's just a cute little tune. I like that show because I love, I love cop shows. Okay, first of all, and um, but that one, the reason I really like it, is because it is clean and 
the characters are just, it, it's not a bunch of cussing, there's not a bunch of violence, there's not sex, there's just, a, it's funny. Um, if you haven't seen Death in Paradise and you like cop shows and you have access to Prime or BBC, you know, um, watch it and see if you like it because I didn't know if I would or not and I did and oh my goodness fell in love is just the cutest show and and like I said it's you'd think because it's set in the Caribbean that maybe there'd be a lot of um, you know half nude women and I mean there's there's scenes where there's they're on the beach and stuff but it's just not the focus of the show and so they they're very clean it's a very clean show I really like it and it's been on for, I think they're in their 12th season. Uh, I think they're filming their 13th season right now. So it's been around for a long time, but it's a great little show. And good mystery. I don't know about you guys, but I can always... Okay, 90% of the American cop shows I watch, I know who did it within the first few minutes. And I'm just, I'm not kidding. It's funny. My husband just, Cordy and Alex used to laugh too, my late husband, because I could just figure it out. Well, with BBC shows, I got to tell you, um, the, the English writers, they, <laughs> British writers are good, okay? They are so good at bringing in so many people and characters and red herrings and scenarios. Oh my goodness, y you know, it's just harder to figure out who did it. It really is. And, uh, yeah, so it's rare that I know who did it with I, when I watch a, a BBC mystery. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but it's the truth. Um, there we go. Okay, there's that one. But if you're looking, if you like, you know, mysteries and you're looking for a clean show that's entertaining and funny and you get... You get involved with the characters. It's very um, character-driven as well, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm all about character-driven shows. So, yeah, that would be a good one for you. I don't talk about television shows a lot, but that one's just in my head. So I'm cutting this down, as you can see. And um, super cute, super cute. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll figure it out, I'm sure. So even like cut in half, this would make the cutest tags, you know, because you leave the bird there and you could just kind of cut part of the butterfly off and have this side and that side. It would be adorable as a tag. I'm also thinking these would be really cute pockets inside of a journal and leave them in their full state and then just put maybe like a deep pocket or we could use them. I have a little project going that I have not done the video for yet and I'm thinking of how I want to do the video. I had actually started a video but I didn't do it and it's with paper lunch bags and we could I'm wondering something like this would fit really nice on you know as a cover or to make pockets on the insides of the actual yeah it would fit, it would fit. that's just a sneak peek we will be doing that eventually here pretty soon Okay, the rest of these are taking forever to dry. So, I'm going to grab, where is, do I have some? I think I have some. I do, I have a piece. I'm going to grab this. And while the others are drying, I'm just going to do a little bit of glue in here. Okay, and I'm going to close this because you know me, I'll dry it all out. I'm just about out. I'm going to have to get some more, I think. Okay. So I'm going to use my Aline's glue because I think, eh, this is, I could probably get away with the glue stick because this is that book page. Mm, I want it to stay. I want to make sure it stays. 
I'll use the Allings. I'm not using the art glitter glue because it always ends up showing through um, the thinner book page. And even with the napkin on there, I just, I have a lack of trust with using book page or thin vintage book page with um, art glitter glue. It's just been my experience. Maybe not yours, but yeah. I got issues. What can I say? Plus, this lets me move and adjust this so I don't have to do too much cutting. I'm just going to use these napkins and press this on. Now it's nice and pressed on. I'm going to use the glue spreader. Okay. And then this one here. I'm so surprised. I haven't used this glue in days and it's actually not clogged up. That's nice. So I think that the um, gnats and the flies have been in communication with one another and they know that I am their nemesis <laughs> because it has gotten to the point that when a fly gets in, they attack me. <laughs> they just like come at me over and over and over. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> because I am a fly nemesis, I'll be honest. I'm not, um, I'm not one of those people who goes, oh, let's put it outside and, you know, uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. I grew up on a farm. I hope that doesn't offend anybody. I heard someone apologize one time for killing a spider or something um, and on, on a YouTube video. And I was like, okay, you guys, please don't hate me, but I don't tolerate insects of any kind in my home. Uh, if it's a cricket... Or if it's a ladybug, or if it's a little beetle, you know, those I will uh, catch and put outside and shoo shoo. But when it comes to spiders, because I live in Arizona, and spiders can be very dangerous here. Um, when it comes to stuff like that, or a cockroach, or a fly, or a gnat, or a mosquito, they don't survive around me for very long. Okay? I hope no one's offended. If you are, please... Just um, pray for me. If I'm supposed to have a heart for these creatures, then the Lord will help me. Um, yeah. If it can attack me in my house or make my house filthy and dirty and <laughs> gross me out, it's got to go. It's got to go. And I think our fly issue this at this house has been because we've always had dogs. And the dogs, of course go poo poo outside in the yard and even though my husband cleans it up you know once a week he would go out there and clean it but it's still you know it affects the ground and stuff and I think it just you know it draws flies um, and then I just think there's moisture in this house in general oh I just love this it's so pretty this could actually be used as a cover or something um, I mean, we could probably do an envelope of some sort, but we would lose a lot of the picture. And I don't, I don't know, I don't want to lose that picture. I really like it. But anyway, yeah, so I think, you know, that's part of, and we've got a dog that lives on the back side of us, and then behind her lives a... Uh, Oh, I don't even know how many dogs they have. It's a house that's right behind us, and they have a ton of dogs. And then my neighbor lady next door, she doesn't have a dog, but she has chickens and other little critters out in her yard. And um, I don't, I just think that the combination of all the animals and stuff is drawing the flies. 
because we have a lot of flies outside. Ugh, it's awful. So please don't hate me for, you know, what I told you. <laughs> okay? I love you. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this crooked. Stop it. You're going to end up cutting all this off. Let's do it from the back. It's always easier to see on that plain paper. If you haven't noticed that when you're cutting, it's always easier to see it from behind on the, the plain side if you're uneven. I think. For me. All the designs and stuff on the front kind of make me uh, my eyes get a little bit confused. It's still a little crooked, but it's pretty. Look at that. Isn't isn't that pretty? Oh, we need to plug in. Girls, we are about to lose our video. Ooh. Come on now. Get in there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, we were at 3%. Whew, we made it. Let's see. This is, I must have put a lot on here because it's still wet. Okay, let's try. This guy's almost dry. What about, no, I just did you. You're not dry. So I guess I could trim off these edges. That part's dry. Gosh, I wish I didn't even have to lose that part of the napkin, but this is so pretty with that music paper underneath. I'm loving this. I probably will create an envelope or maybe two out of this piece. Because it's gorgeous. That made me think of um, Gene Stapleton on All in the Family. The way I did my voice. Cordy laughs at me because I'll sing that song and I'll make my voice real loud and shrill like she does, you know, for that part. I won't do it now. I ring your ears, but yeah, he always laughs at me. <laughs> I'm like, what? So I'm thinking, yeah, this one will be, um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to end up losing, like I said, a lot of it. I don't like that. Huh. Hmm. It could be if I folded it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like this. And then I I'm thinking, sorry, I'm gauging what I could do with this to make this work for, for me. Hmm. I don't know. I may have to... It's almost dry. It's just these little areas here that aren't. Gosh, I'm confused because I'm not sure. <sighs> what do I want to use this for, you guys? Give me some suggestions in the comments. On the on the, is it are these chrysant not chrysanthemums? Um, what are these called? I can't think what they're called. Anyway. Somebody out there knows what these are called. And <laughs> I don't know. I want suggestions. What do you think? Should I just do something sideways? And that way I could... Or should I... Because doing an envelope with this... I almost think I would have to glue this back half. Okay? And then... That's why I was looking at it. And then cut along here or like up here and make this 
my opening flap. That could work, actually, if I do it right. And then this could be just glued together. And that way I'm not losing, because you know how when we fold for envelopes, we, we tend to lose a big portion of the thing, of the picture. But if we were to just seal the paper from back here, okay, and then cut it where we want it to be, yeah, why not, right? I mean, there's no rule that says we can't do it like that. I've never ever seen anybody do it like that, but I think that might be a good idea. So if I were to do that, I would want my flap, okay, to be about there, that cross that line, okay, so that I'm not losing the bees and I'm not losing the Paris and the, and the flowers. And then I could even do a double and I could cut it in half and make two small envelopes that could go in my journal. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim along this line right here first. And I'm going to hope that this works for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this, but... Okay, and that's going to be my flap. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I'm going to glue back here. I'm going to bring that, yeah. And on this, I am going to use my art glitter glue because it'll seal it quicker for me than trying to use any other glue. I'm going to seal it at about that level. Okay. I make sure I'm doing this right. This is our front. Yeah. Okay. And this is our back. Have Have you guys seen anybody do this before? I just don't want to lose this whole picture. I want this to actually, you know. Now when I bring this up, I can bring this, let's see, how high do I want it? I want to give it a little bit of a gap between here, you know how it is, and I think, oh wow, look, that flower even matches up right there with the other flower, oh that's cool, so we're going to have our flap right there. And there is our envelope. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! It worked! <laughs> and look, you've got this back here. But it's if I do decorate the back, I mean, if this is going to be a floating envelope in a journal, which for me usually ends up going in a, a front or back pocket that I do um, in my covers. You know how I always usually do the pocket. So when I make really big envelopes, I'll decorate the whole thing because that way it's all, you know, something fun to look at. This needs trim just a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking if I decorate this whole thing, I can even cover that line in the back and you won't even see it. And I did cut this pretty evenly, it looks like. It's just a little bit right here. And they're hammering next door, in case you hear that. Hopefully he won't start running a saw or something. He does that sometimes, too. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited. I did not lose my pretty pretty. And then I can even... Uh, I can even seal, yeah, I can even seal this, like with a, yeah, 
perfect. Oh, I love it. You know what I'm thinking? I was looking this morning. Of course you don't know what I'm thinking that until I tell you. My friend gave me these cool brads and you can put like a, a gem or something in the middle, okay? And I was thinking this morning that if I wanted to use one of these on something, okay, that I could use this because it's so big that I could have something tuck underneath it like that. So I am thinking this might be like the perfect thing. Oh, sorry about that big bang. My poor landlord doesn't realize that we're doing videos. Well, I've told him, but he don't. He's elderly. He don't know. He don't know. He's tired. Oh, my goodness. He's out there working and working and working and <laughs> so, anyways, okay. So I'm flattening this for right now because I want to see where I want it and I don't want it to see what I'm talking about. So, once it's down, okay, this can just go like that. And because it is so thin, it'll just slip, kind of slip right under there. You know? Now what I'm determining though is do I want to just hot glue this on there, on that center part, and not bother putting the brad through the back, but leave the wires there because they're kind of making it stand up a little bit, which I need it to do. Does that make sense? I want it to be raised so that this goes right under it. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go for it. I am. I'm going to go for it. And I'm not, I'm thinking, do I want to put it through? Ugh. I don't want to mess up this paper at all. <coughs> oh my gosh, Michael. He just slams. No, I think I'm going to glue it down. Yep, I'm just going to glue it down. Okay. I've got all kinds of stuff stuck to my glue gun. I don't want to get too much glue, just enough. And get it as centered as possible. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Darn. I'm going to have to uh, put it through, and then it's fine. It's okay. <clears throat> so, and this is the part that's hard for me because I, I want to make sure I don't, that I don't, um, I only get one shot with this. Okay. So, I'm trying to get a little bit of an impression right there but it's not working, so I'm going to use a pencil here and just make a little mark that I can see. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Okay, let's see. Okay, and then I'm going to pump, punch a little hole with this tiny little hole puncher. What time is it? Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Right. There. <clears throat> okay. And now, once I get this in here, and I am going to put a little bit of glue still. Okay. I'm 
once I get this in here, I'm going to cover I'm going to cover this on the inside with a piece of, like a round piece of paper. You know those pages, those uh, circles that I keep punched here. Okay. All right. All right. Do we want to use, eh, I'll just use this. It'll make it easier. But I'm going to go light over it. And that just will cover that so it's not showing as you know okay so there's the closure and I think it'll be fine because this is the kind of thing where yeah see isn't that cute okay now this is what I was thinking when I was seeing those earlier I was thinking that this would look really pretty with these on it so I'm gonna do one of these I just gotta make sure I pick the one I want first. I think so far the pink looks the best. Let's see. The big ones I only have pink, gold, and oh, and this is silver, so I don't want that. I don't think I have silver, do I? No. I do have kind of the shiny pink. Nah. Nat flying around my hand, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and use this pink one. Oh, come on now. If I can get it off of there. There. So there's that. Isn't that cute? Thank you for those, Pammy. Um, so there is the envelope. It's not yet an envelope because I haven't glued it shut yet. I'm going to. I hadn't glued it shut at first because I was debating on whether or not I wanted to cut it down into two. But I really think I like just the single big envelope. So I'm going to leave it that way and I am going to put it, tuck it into a nice spot in one of my journals. And it'll be a lot of fun to decorate, you guys, because it's big and it's, you know. So I hope you feel inspired with these, with this little idea here. I'm going to trim right along this little edge. Because we are just slightly off, but we didn't do too bad today, huh? Okay, so there is my little envelope and this is so flexible and movable that it tucks right under there for me so that's nice and I'll probably put some lace or I don't know like on the sides of this or something maybe ribbon um, who knows who knows I may not let's see what else we got here all these little guys have dried up real nice let's get this off of here I have absolutely no idea Actually, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, what a cute little journal cover it would make. Like a mini journal cover. Or, oh, you know what? It did not get glued. So it's going to get glued now. <laughs> it got Mod Podged on top, just not glued down. Hmm. I guess I didn't get enough Mod Podge around my edges here. Which, that's fine with me. Look at that. I did not. We're just going to glue it. That's all Mod Podge is anyway, right? Thin glue. Okay. Back to trimming. So anyway, what I was going to say was this is looking to me like a mini notebook almost uh, cover. I think that would be super cute. Like that. I'm going to turn it over. Or, 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 we could cut it in half and it can make two journal cards. Or, 
we could cut it in half and it could make um, or you could do it into thirds and make two tags and leave the, the peacocks in the center and make a journal card or pocket yeah so multiple multiple uh, uses I wasn't sure because of the shape of it but yeah I kind of like the tag thing to do like a tag and a tag and then use this part as a pocket because this these you know these birds of paradise and these flowers are just beautiful all by themselves and then we have the last one we did and that is oh look at that you can see that looks like um really vintage with the music paper behind it i really like this one and this one will probably be another envelope because of the fact that i won't have to worry about where it lands it's kind of perfect see i like napkins like this and i don't it's funny, I don't get a lot of napkins that give me that um, all over effect. I always get the ones that are in fourths, it seems like, for the most part. You know? I see other people use the ones that have the whole picture and it's just like the whole napkin is this beautiful picture. But yeah, it doesn't happen for me very often. So I'm very excited that it, I got one that has it. I missed it quite a few spots with my little brushing on of my Mod Podge, didn't I? Let's see. So I'm going to do a video here, like, super soon of, um, see, that's pretty. Beautiful. Look at that. That is so pretty. I love the blue and that deep red. It's not even a, it's more of a, the peach and then like the red is muted and it, but it's deep and I like the depth of it. And I may do that again with uh, the closure. I really like these as closures. I think that's perfect. How's this guy doing now that he's dry? Very nice. And it's a deep envelope too, so yeah. Come on, tuck back under there for me. There we go. So anyway, yeah. What I was going to say is, I, I cut myself off a lot, don't I? Um, I was going to say that I'm thinking we're going to do a decorating video here real soon of where we just embellish and decorate some ephemera. I mentioned it, I think, in another video this week because I, my stuff has my stuff has just gotten out of hand to the point where I'm like, okay, I need to get some stuff decorated. The box is so full. So full. So I'm going to fold that at about right there. Okay. So hopefully you guys will want to hang out with me while I do that. And just do some craft and chat. Okay. Oh, I love this paper. Oh, this napkin. Now I can see that this is a little off. Not a ton, but. Okay. Now let's see. I think it's time to end, but I'm going to go ahead and, and probably do something similar to what I did here with this one. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that you relaxed with me and maybe did some decoupage or crafted along while I yammer yammered and talked. <laughs> um, be blessed. I love you guys. Stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. Okay? And I'll see you guys on Monday. God bless. Bye-bye.